been asked by so many people on TikTok, because I'm no longer on Instagram, um, to give my opinions on this season of Married to Medicine. And I said earlier in the season that apparently my TMS treatments that my husband's doing at his uh, facility helped me get over my PTSD from three years ago. And I was actually able to watch the show. And I gave the ladies their kudos. I said, you know, the season was giving better than Real Housewives of Atlanta, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, some people are like, oh, you, you shouldn't be talking about that. I don't know why, because, you know, women who look like that and not this are getting whole podcasts and have been on a show one or two seasons and talking about Bravo shows. But I digress. You know, anytime I do anything, everybody wants to talk about it. Talk smack. But, um, you know, I mostly gave good feedback earlier in the season and then I stopped watching. But lately, everybody's been like, you need to like watch. And let me just be clear. I am not in contact with anybody, not even Toy and Eugene. I mean, I talked to Eugene a few weeks ago um, about something in business, but I, I haven't I haven't talked. I'm not you know, it's not like we're all kumbaya hanging out and so i'm on some campaign to do whatever i just say what i think is right regardless and i just think that people are coming for toya in a way that is vicious and shameful and distasteful and considering that toya has been on this show and in his original cast member no matter how you feel about her you're gonna let a new girl come on and insinuate that she staged a robbery is you know not cool um and you know i feel bad for anila's family if they were you know subjected to a robbery in their home i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy um you know especially when you have children you want to feel safe in your home and that's a pretty safe neighborhood you know i've been there a few times and you know they take your eye it's a lot to get in there so it's just really concerning how something like this could happen. Um, and I'm glad to see that they're making the additional precautions to prepare themselves for these type of things. Cause you know, these, these, these crooks are out here. They can, they can figure out how to get around systems. Apparently there've been a string of robberies in the, uh, Atlanta area, uh, at celebrity homes, Mariah Carey was a victim, Marla Hampton. So, you know, who's to say that wasn't the same string of you know, bandits going around. Um, I love, love, love Toya and Eugene uh, throwing the party for Ashton and Ashton cooking with his father. Eugene and Ashton actually cooked for my husband and I once before, and their food is amazing. Um, they're excellent chefs, and Toya and Eugene are great um, at throwing parties and making people feel very welcome in their home. Um, Simone and uh, Cecil writing a book for couples. Um, I mean, they made it through a bad time and are still together. So, and it's something to do now that they're empty nesters. So, you know, good luck to them on that. Um, Jackie now being able to step away from work and spend more time at home with her husband and on our 8 million other endeavors, kudos to her. You know, I'm not a hater. That's great. In, in your 60s, you should be able to move, step back from working, you know, 12, 15, 18 hours a day. It's, it's not a good look. It's time to cut back and, and allow some passive income, you know, you know, money to make, make money while you're sleeping and not at the office. You know, true bosses um, own businesses and they have staff that are running them. And while you're still there having to run at them, you're not really experiencing the life that the truly wealthy live. So I'm glad that she's transitioning to that. Good for her. Good for her. And honestly, it's very difficult for physicians to find other physicians that can give the level of service and, that they can. David's run into this problem. It's impossible to find a psychiatrist that he, you know, wants to have take over his practice. So could I, there's no shade with this at all. Kudos to her. She seems very happy. I'm glad. Um, I'm so sorry for Heavenly's loss of her mother. Heavenly and I are not friends and, 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 and um, I cannot stand her, but somebody losing their mom, that's a pain that you cannot. So, you know, I'm, you know, 
I wish her and her family the best as they grieve and go through that process. Um, Contessa is surprising me this season. Um, I never really had a problem with Contessa until she grabbed my face and, you know, assaulted me allegedly. <laughs> she didn't assault me. Um, but, you know, got all in my face. It was like a GI Jane drill sergeant um, with me when I was upset about having to discuss the deaths of my children over and over again. And I comforted her when she was crying about her man allegedly cheating. And that's okay to cry about, but you can't cry about deaths of babies. But anyway, I digress. Um, I liked her this season um, so far. She's standing up for herself. She's coming into her own. Um, I think she's making that real full cast money now. So she's like, if y'all bees, I ain't got to be on a certain couch. I can do what I want to do. And really, you can tell that Bravo and the producers want her to be the it girl. And she should. She's beautiful and young. And her husband's a physician. They live in Buckhead, not in Alabama. They have gorgeous children. And so, yeah, they should be. They're exactly what they want the show to be about. Um, I talked about Simone. I talked about Toy. I talked about Anil. I talked about Jackie. I talked about Heavenly. Quad, congrats on your house, Quad. It looks amazing. Um, amazing. And you know what? I'm so glad, child. I didn't, I, I knew Quad would do her house. Like, don't move in a house and don't put no damn furniture in it. Don't hire an interior designer if you don't know how to decorate. Like, I knew Quad was going to do it. Good for you, Quad. The house looks stunning. I wouldn't expect any less. Now, to this issue with Toya, and Anila, um, y'all wrong. Y'all know damn well that girl ain't set that girl up for no damn no robbery. Come on, y'all know that didn't happen. And then to be out here in these streets talking about Toya cheat on her husband when she's got two sons who are in school. Like some stuff is just too much to just get a check. Like it's it's like I'm just I don't care how much you hate like don't like somebody. I, like, I'm just not going to do that. And even from my time on there, Toya acted a fool at my house, showed up with jeans off to my fabric frugal party when that was not what it was supposed to be about. You're supposed to wear nice clothes and show that you can dress nice on a budget. And she totally F me in my face when they showed up in T-shirts and jeans. And I still was welcoming to her. And then she acted a fool with a guest at my home. And I still was welcoming to her. And after that, I, I put that aside and still was kind to her. And she was kind to me. Like you, some things you, you just, you, I would never, no matter what she said about me or what she did, talk about her marriage in that way. And what I'm saying is that whole four check stuff, the producers kept asking me in green screens, you should talk about Toya Eugene's finances. You should, you should say something about their money problems. And I always said, no, I'm not going to do that. They've not hired me. They've not given me permission to discuss that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not about like, and, and frankly, I appreciate the fact that they've been vulnerable and open and honest about the fact that they are the first ones in their family to make this kind of money. And they didn't know what the hell to do with it. Like, that's the stuff we need to see on TV. Not all these people who just all of a sudden they know everything in the world. They bosses. They know how to manage their money. They pay their taxes. They got, eight, you know, $8 million homes, blah, 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 blah. And no, like, roadmap to teach people how to get there. That's not aspirational TV, in my opinion. It's not. And it's not real. And the one of the reasons they don't like Toya is Toya real. She's an open book. You say whatever you want about her, but she's an open book, period. And listen, you know, folk get on my nerves. I get on their nerves, but I'm not going for somebody's marriage. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And I'm really surprised uh, about the break-in thing that a group of black women who have been friends, associates, whatever, with Toya for nine or more years would allow an outsider who's just now coming into the friend group, who is not black, to insinuate that Toya has something to do with a robbery. It's giving very much racism to me. Period. It is. You say what you want to say. Say, Buffy, that's a stretch. But it ain't. Like, y'all husbands make the same kind of money. So, and y'all make the same kind of money on the show. So, I don't, well, she ain't making what Toya make. But she making some money. And so, it's, it. you, you, it's a stretch. Listen, if Toya want to get you back, she'll get you back. 
it, it, it's not going to be behind your back. It'll be in your face and on camera. Understand that. It's not going to be some stupid stage. It ain't going to be no robbery shit. Like, it's, that's team too much and to really character assassinate somebody in that way who has children who are in school. It's, it's too much. And I ain't saying Toya perfect. She ain't. She, you know, she get into it when people mix it up and all this. Oh, Audra. I left out Audra. Uh, the friend. Um, don't get in somebody's face from Detroit. Not a, it's not the thing to do. It's not, it's not, especially after you've been talking about their finances. It's just, it's not the, it's, it's not, it's not, the, it's not the thing to do. And just a tip to you, Audra, from somebody who's a one hit wonder on that show, be very careful. Don't allow those producers to get into your ear and tell you to do stuff and, and, and hype up and cut up and, you know, be recalcitrant and do all stuff because you are a professional. And though you say that people don't hire you, that you are hired by mortgage companies, you are hired by uh, uh, um, people to vet the the titles on their homes. And when or if they don't bring you back, um, you still have to go back in Atlanta and be a professional. And you don't want people rolling back footage of you swinging at some woman at a party in a dress, in a gown. Like, it's just, like, I think that's the thing people don't think about. Like, and I know they ain't paying you no money because they don't pay shit uh, when you're a friend on the show. And you got money, clearly. You're very successful. Your husband's a successful dentist. So, you know, I just, I, 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 I this isn't a way I would talk about my practice. This, this isn't, because it's, Listing out somebody's liens doesn't inspire confidence. It got you a scene, and we definitely know your name, so you, you've done that. But you're a black professional in Atlanta, and it's really hard to get your reputation back once it's gone. Once you've been labeled a Bravo person, trust me, I know I was on there for five minutes or 15 episodes and a reunion. Um, but it's a lot for me to have to get back to people to understand who I really am and not what was shown on that show. And trust me, I'm sure there's been some stuff edited, Audra. Um, just be careful if you come back for the next season. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, you know, they doing all they doing. Toya, they are, none of them are your friends, darling. They're co-workers. I'm just going to say that. And the one that you think is your good friend, who I thought was my friend, she's nobody's friend. And she will say that she ain't nobody's friend. She is out for her household. And so she's going to do whatever she needs to do to keep seasons coming. Um, she is very much on that other couch. Part of the Golden Girls. Don't believe the trickery where they act like they don't like each other. They besties, thickest thieves. Um, do they get mad at each other? Yeah, but they're co-worker besties uh supervisors to keep they check on the show and so um and you know i don't really got much to say about it. heavenly doing what they pay her to do and to heavenly's credit she's been a mess the whole time there's no ain't no flip-flopping about it none there is a flip-flopper on the show it ain't heavenly heavenly always a goddamn mess period so in some regards you gotta respect her for that she don't miss she don't mix it up she ain't she's not hiding her hands everybody knows she a damn mess train wreck she gonna talk smack do whatever it's fine some ways you know that's who she is so she ain't pretending to be somebody she's not and she's pimping this system and setting up a business empire for herself so kudos to her for that um i think that's all i got to say i think i did in 15 minutes um what I'm going to review is Real Housewives of Potomac. Knows that. So when that gets to come in, every week I will be talking about those ladies because I am very, very, very excited about that season. So um, love y'all smooches.